Hello everyone and welcome to installing Rockbox, the open source jukebox firmware on most mp3 player devices. This video will be covering the SanDisk Sansa E250 reviewed not too long ago. Sit back, relax, and let's see how we get about installing this. Just like any tutorial, the prep work is where it's at. We need a computer running some version of Windows 10 or Windows 11, I will be using Windows 10. Your MP3 player of choice, again mine is the Sansa E250, the USB cable for it, and a micro SD card. This isn't necessary, but it's good to have one. Now that we have all the physical hardware, let's talk digital. Quick disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any loss of data or bricking of your device. I would recommend creating a backup of your device if you want. Move any files off of it, either through the SD card or the USB. And again, I'm not responsible for any loss of data. We need to download two files. The first will be your MP3 player drivers. Most use the basic MTP driver, which you can find by going to mptdrive.com and installing that. The second is the Rockbox port for your device. Go to rockbox.org. Look for your device under stable ports or unstable port. For stable ports, they use the supported installer, while the unstable ports, you have to manually install it. Since our Sansa E250 falls under the E200 category of stable ports, we're gonna use the installer. Click on installer and click download installer. It's gonna take you to this page which asks which one you wanna use. We're gonna download the Windows version of the installer as the .zip file. Once it finishes downloading, We'll throw it on our desktop and here we have our exe files unzip them all close this out and let's continue on now you can also do a manual install by going to release manual install and here is the firmware for each device for example if we wanted to do our sansa e250 falls under this one if you have the version 2 it'd be this one you can click on firmware and it will download the zip file specifically for that device. If we open up the zip file, we can see that it just has our .rockbox file. Now the manual installer and the installer are kind of similar in how they actually flash the device. The manual installer, all you have to do is just drag and drop this file onto the MP3 player itself but we'll run through the Rockbox utility just to see how that works. Speaking of, we need to prep our actual device. Turn on your MP3 player, go into settings and change USB mode to MSC. Plug in the device, and it's going to show up that it's connected to your computer. All right, we're going to be using the installer to install Rockbox. So if you want to manually install Rockbox onto the MP3 player, just go to the timestamp on screen. If not, let's get to it. All right, once we open up the file, we get brought to this page. It just pretty much gives you the change log. Next, it's going to bring up this new installation. It's going to say that we just installed the Rockbox utility. And then we're going to bring up this configuration. Now you can do auto detect, which we'll do in a second, or you can manually select through your device. If you wanted to select your SanDisk eSansa this way. Now there's two ways we can check for this device. The first is by going into File Explorer. And here we have our MP3 player. You can also find it under portable devices for here. If you don't find it here, just reinstall any USB drivers you have. But because we put in MSC mode, it should just pop up as a storage device. Once again, we can just hit refresh now. And it should auto detect what device we have. It selected the E200 V1 on the H directory. We can click on here and see the Sansa E250. We can hit OK. And here we have everything that we need. So it's going to select which ones you want to install. 
we're actually going to install the bootloader, the Rockbox fonts, as well as the themes, so we can customize our themes. We can go ahead and customize it right now. Just whichever theme we want to go for, which there are a lot. So I would suggest just taking your time, selecting what theme you want, and then we can continue on. Once we've selected our theme, we're good to go. We can go ahead and click install. Just make sure you have selected stable release, which it does from the start. So then we're good. Hit install. Now, once we get through the entire install, click OK, and we should be good to go. If we go to our file explorer and see here, we have our .rockbox folder. Inside here is everything that Rockbox uses to actually run their software. So here's where we're going to be manually installing Rockbox. If you just want to skip this, go to the timestamp on screen. If not, here's how we get to do that. You can do it again by using the stable or unstable ports. You can hit this installer and then go down and manually. It'll bring us to the manual install page. And then here's our Sansa E200. Hit the firmware and it's going to download a zip file. Inside that zip file is going to be this .rockbox file. All you have to do is just drag and drop onto the directory of the mp3 player. It's going to copy everything over just like it did for this Rockbox folder. Once that copies over, if we hop into our themes folder, which is somewhere here, here we go. We can download and manually install all of our themes here. Now to get the themes for manually installing, go back to the Rockbox page. On the left hand side here, you're going to find themes. And then here are the supported themes for the devices. So if we scroll down back to our Sansa E200. Here we can manually download all of our themes. So if you hit download, it's going to download a zip file. Then you're just going to have to extract the .cfg file onto the themes folder. And then that's pretty much it. Rockbox should be installed. You can unplug and restart your MP3 player. And your theme should also be in the folder. Now, just like the auto install, we actually do have to set our theme. So let's get into that. Turn on your MP3 player, scroll down to settings. Should be the fourth from the top. Click on theme settings. Hit browse theme files. Should be right at the top. And then select your theme that you want to load and then hit the select button, which should be the center button on the MP3 player. Once it's done loading, just hit the back buttons and you're good to go. Now, once that's complete, you can drag any music you want into the device. If you're a music enthusiast, I would recommend putting your files on an SD card to get more storage. Speaking of the SD card, plug it into your computer, drag any music you want on it. Just make sure you actually have it in a folder Call it anything, you can call it music, whatever you want. Unplug it from your computer. Go to your go to your MP3 player, plug in your SD card. Now when you add new music, you can click the database at the top and sometimes it will bring up a menu to rebuild the database or it might just start auto rebuilding the database. If that doesn't happen, then you can go ahead and actually just click anything through and it should sort all of your music that you just added. Now, if you want to find any specific files on your SD card, click on files and your micro SD card should pop up. Now, if you don't want to use a micro SD card, you can just drag files onto the MP3 player. I would suggest putting in a folder called music so it doesn't just start reading random files. And that's it. You should be good to go. That concludes our Rockbox tutorial. Let me know down in the comment section below if you had any issues with the install and I will do my best to assist you with it. Hit that subscribe if you found this helpful. Like if you like, dislike, dislike it. And until the next one.